Okay, let's talk about T's math and the TEAS uh, exam, as you probably well know if you're watching this video, is a nursing entrance, a nursing school entrance exam. So it's not the only uh, entrance exam uh, used for nursing schools, but it's one of the most uh, popular. So what we're going to be talking about in this video is some of the um, uh, mathematical things you want to be thinking about as you're preparing uh, for this uh, particular exam. So before we get started, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tava Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over the last several years, I've constructed many online comprehensive uh, math courses to actually include a TEAS, a T's math prep course. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description of this video if that's something you want to check out. But um, what I really want to highlight in this video is that you know you're going to be go you're going to be going into nursing, right? So in nursing, obviously, you're going to be doing a lot of like measurements. You know, you got to be really good with fractions and decimals and conversions and etc. along those lines. But placing into nursing school, it's a different deal in terms of uh, the math that you're they're going to be tested on. Okay, and I'm going to classify. Um, this kind of level of math is basically high school level math, okay? So how well your algebra skills are uh, and your geometry skills are going to come into play. So it's not just going to be the things that you're going to be practically doing as a nurse for, you know, for your entrance exam. It's just kind of like any other entrance exam into college. You're going to have to, uh, you know, brush off the cobwebs <laughs> on your algebra and geometry, all things that you already have taken uh, in high school, right? So we're going to go ahead and talk about, um, uh, we're going to do a few problems here, kind of see where you might be currently, uh, then I'm going to kind of give you some uh, general advice. All right, so with that being said, let's get into some problems, okay? Now, this is just a quick pop quiz. I got a couple, um, actually I have four problems. We're going to just do two at a time here. And without using a calculator, without you know, uh, studying up real quick. I'm just curious, uh, where do you stand right now? Can you do these two uh, problems, right? Can you do this first problem? You've got a fraction problem. And can you answer this uh, problem here, okay? So if you want to pause the video, give yourself maybe no more than 60 seconds, a minute, something like that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, solve these and we'll move on to another pair, okay? Okay, so let's get to our solution. So again, you know, on this uh, TEAS uh, placement exam, all right, or your entrance exam, you're going to need to know, you know, a lot of high school level mathematics. And this is obviously, you know, fundamental basic stuff. So let's kind of start off easy uh, and see kind of where you're at. Now, if you um, are struggling in any way, just use this um, as feedback, okay? Even students, most people would probably struggle with a fraction problem or this problem right here. Okay, because what? You're not actively doing math all the time. But for you, you're obviously preparing for this test. You're going to have to, you know, make, you know, your math um, study, you know, serious. Or you're going to have to do a lot of math, a lot of review. It's just, the, you know, the nature of the game if you want to do as best as possible on uh, the T's math section. All right, so let's go ahead and answer this question. So I'm going to show you a shortcut. Now here, obviously, you know that we can write this, well, hopefully you know that the LCD here is going to be 15, okay, and then this will be 15, so I have to multiply this by 5, so this becomes 5. Now, I'm not, I'm kind of not really teaching this, kind of just doing the problem and explaining, okay, just for, uh, I just don't want to make this video too long, so I have to multiply by this, by this uh, denominator by 3 to get 15, so this becomes 6. So our answer, we um, add the numerators, we get 11 fifteenths, okay? 11 fifteenths. Let's write that this way. Okay, so if you got that right, that's excellent. But let me show you a little shortcut here, okay? Really, really um, awesome shortcut. You must know in terms of dealing with adding or subtracting fractions. So here, let's write this this way. So if anything else, for you watching this video, if you get this shortcut down in terms of fractions, then I think this will be <laughs> worth your time uh, watching this video. Okay, so here's another way 
to do fraction problems. It's called the bow tie method. And you're carrying the, like a little bow tie like that, like someone would wear. Okay, so it goes like this. You're gonna go, you're gonna take, you're gonna start from the bottom right. You're gonna take this number, you're gonna multiply that way. Okay, so three times two is what? That's six. We're gonna put a six there. This is an addition problem, so I'm gonna put an addition symbol there. Then I'm gonna go five times uh, this. I'm gonna start from the bottom left and I'm gonna multiply this way. Okay, kind of see the little bow tie pattern. So five times one is five, right? Now this little crisscross here um, creates our numerator, okay? So that's six plus five. And then my denominator, I just multiply across this way. So the two denominators, so that's five times three, that's 15. And six plus five is 11, and then we have 15 right here, okay? So this uh, uh, technique is super handy, especially when it comes with dealing with algebra fractions. So something like, let's say, x uh, over 3 plus uh, 2 over y, right? So if you're asked to simplify that, and you're like, oh, that's a little bit harder. If you just remember this bow tie technique, Okay, you'll uh, get it right. So it's going to be y times x, all right, or x times y, it's, uh, or y, x, it's the same thing, plus, it's an addition problem, 3 times 2, that's 6, over 3 times y, 3y. And there you go. There's the answer, okay? So this bow tie, uh, bow tie technique of adding or subtracting fractions is critical. Definitely, you definitely, definitely want uh, to know it. So, again... If you're like, oh, this video is too long, you know, I'm boring you, <laughs> but if you're able to, to uh, pick up this little technique, well, that's excellent, all right? So let's move on now. Hopefully, um, I'm drawing you in, and we're going to finish out you know, these last little prompts. Okay, so 8 minus 12. So how many out there put 4 as your answer? To be honest, right? If you did, you are incorrect, right? The answer is negative four, negative four, right? So eight minus 12 is the same thing as like eight plus a negative 12, right? So that this is a negative, okay? It's greater than this positive. I can go on and on about the rules of positive and negative numbers, but the answer is negative four. So if you put a positive four, which I know a lot of you out there did, don't beat yourself up. But again, you know, it's just, you know, um, the point I'm trying to make is that you know, before you just jump in and start studying algebra, geometry, and all this, you got to really have a good study plan to really build up your basic math skills and just work your way up. Math skills are like, uh, you know, like a ladder, like steps, okay? If you don't have these basic founda foundational skills down, like fractions and integers, positive and negative numbers and that stuff, all this other fancier, you know, more complicated math, you just, you know, you're not going to be... Um, uh, really be really be able to do that level of math because you don't have your your foundations down. So this is why we're kind of starting with uh, the real basics here, and you got to have a good study plan, right? So you know if you don't use something like let's say my my math course, get yourself a good book, something that you know that is a quality organized plan for you to learn math. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, again, I'm not going to go ahead and teach all these concepts, although I did want to stress this bow tie method as a bonus here. Uh, but let's go ahead and move forward and take a look at these last two problems. Okay, so, um, so here I have a simple equation. Okay, I'd like you to solve for x. And then here I have a geometric figure. Okay, because there is going to be some geometry on here. I want you to tell me the value of the variables, okay? What are the values of these variables right here, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead. If you want to pause the video and give this a try, and I would you know, strongly suggest that you do, uh, go ahead and do so now, but because I'm going to get into the solutions, okay? All right, so 2 thirds x equals 5. What you don't want to do is go into your calculator and turn this into a decimal, a lot of students are, you know, will do that. They're like, I don't know how to do that. And then they'll just, they don't want to work with fractions. Okay, you have to work with fractions. Fractions are everywhere. I know I hated fractions when I was a young student, but guess what? In mathematics, they're everywhere. So you got to be comfortable with fractions, especially as a nurse. I mean, you're going to be dealing with, you know, fractions, percentages, conversions. So you got to be really good with fractions. Okay, so a simple problem like this. Um, so let's just take a, a simpler problem. What if I said... 
uh, solve this equation, 2x equals 5, right? Do you know what to do here, okay? Well, hopefully you'd say, oh yeah, I have to divide both sides of the equation by 2, so the solution would be x equals 5 halves, right? And you would be correct, okay? So this is a simple one-step equation, what we call, because it only took one step to get the answer. But here, it's a little bit trickier, okay? I have 2 thirds, and uh, 2 thirds x equals 5, so do I divide both sides of the equation by 2 thirds? Well, in fact, you do, okay? But that looks a little kind of like overly complex, okay? So the main uh, technique that you really want to um, um, use when you're solving a, um, a basic equation that has a fraction as a coefficient in front of this variable, coefficient is just the number that's in front of the variable, is we're going to just multiply both sides of the equation. We're just going to flip the fraction. It's called the reciprocal. So this is going to be 3 halves. And then if I multiply the left-hand side by 3 halves, i got to multiply the right-hand side by 3 halves. So what's 3 halves times 2 thirds? Well, hopefully, you can see it's going to be 6 over 6, or just 1. Okay, so the answer here is just going to be 1x or just x by itself, and that's what I'm going for. Okay, so now I just got to figure out what is 5 times 3 halves. You're like, well, this number doesn't have a denominator. All numbers have a denominator. Okay, if you don't see it, it's 1. Okay, so 5 divided by 1 is 5. So here you can say, oh, okay, so 5 times 3, that's going to be 15 over 2. Okay, so of course I'm assuming you know how to multiply fractions, etc. So this would be our answer. So if you got that right, um, that's very good. Okay, uh, and now let's move on to our last problem. Now again, you know this is just a quick pop quiz on a variety of fundamental kind of concepts, right? So we're going to get into this geometry uh, stuff here in a second. Let me erase this. Okay, so here, what is going on in this diagram? Well, we have two lines crossing. And in geometry, we call these vertical lines. So we need to have some understanding, some geometric understanding of, of angles here, okay? So the angle uh, formed between the two lines right here, okay, this is 120 degrees. So the thing about it is this. When you have two lines that crisscross in uh, geometry, this is what we call vertical angles, meaning that this angle right here, okay, whatever angle that is, it's the same as this angle. Okay, so these two angles are the same. So let's just cut and use a little mark like that. And these two angles right here are the same as well. Okay, so that's the main concept here that's being kind of uh, questioned, right? So this is called vertical angles. So knowing that, I'm like, all right. So if this is 120 degrees right here, this one has to be 120 degrees. So that means 3x has to be equal to 120 degrees, right? I can just set up a nice little basic equation and then solve for x, okay? Because so this 120 is the same as 3x. So 3x is equal to 120. So I'm going to solve for x. And again, x is equal to what? Uh, 120 uh, divided by 3, okay, 12 divided by 3 would be what? 40, right? So x would be equal to 40. So if I'm saying what is the value of the variables, x is 40 degrees, because 40 times 3 is 120, and 120 is equal to 120, okay? All right, so there, so far we have this one, okay? We have that variable x, but we need to get Z and uh, W, all right? So we're gonna write those up there. So again, we need to know a little bit about geometry. So I know that Z is equal to W, right? With just by nature of vertical angles, but I'm like, okay, but how can I get, you know, one of these angles, right? If I get W, then I have Z, or if I get Z, I have W because these are the same. Well, what we have to do is take a look at our diagram here and again, these are our lines. So we need to see here that here to here, okay, this is a line in and of itself, okay? From here to here, this is a, uh, a line. And you can see that this line, if we break it up in angles, it goes from angle Z, whatever that is, plus 120, 
that forms the total angle. So what is, how many angles are in a straight line? So that's kind of a strange question, right? So in other words, here, this is like maybe 45 degrees, right? And they're like, oh yeah, I get that, that's 45 degrees. This would be here like 90 degrees. And you're like, yeah, that's 90 degrees. Uh, this right here would be something like 120 degrees. You're like, yeah, I can see that. But what is a straight line? Okay, well, it's from here to here. How many degrees are in a straight line? Hmm, do you know that? Well, it's basic geometry. Hopefully, you're saying, oh, that's 180 degrees. Okay, so if you got that, and you know that a straight line has 180 degrees as its angle, then we kind of figure this out, right? Because this whole line, I could say, well, Z plus 120 is equal to 180, okay? So I can just solve this basic equation. Z plus 120 is equal to 180. So I just subtract 120 from both sides of the equation, and that gives me Z is equal to 60, okay? 60 degrees, so W is the same thing. It is also 60 degrees. Okay, so there you have it. There's X, Z, and W from this basic diagram, but really it's not like um, a super complicated algebra. What's really being taught here is just basic geometric, you know, what the question is really challenging. Do you have basic geometric um, understanding of lines? Now, uh, all of you out there are gonna be like, well, yeah, we're not gonna use this as a nurse. Well, you're, you're, you're probably not. <laughs> but again, that's not the point, right? What's the point? The point is entrance exam, okay? Uh, do you have a, a well-rounded math background to enter into nursing school? And by the way, too, I keep something in mind. You're going to, let's say you're going to, you know, obviously you're going to become a nurse. You get into nursing school, you become a nurse. Guess what? You're, you know, there's a good chance, probably better than a 50-50 chance, that you're going to continue your education. Maybe you want to become a nurse practitioner, okay? Maybe you want to go back. Uh, maybe you want to go to medical school. Guess what? If you have to do any of those things, you're going to have to know a lot more math. So, you know, you're just going to make a good investment yourself by, by reviewing algebra, geometry, and all the other fundamental skills and everything uh, specific to, like, say, conversion and measurement, all those things that are, are going to be more emphasized, you know, your actual nursing practical application, if you will. But um, anyways, uh, hopefully this video, you know, it has... Uh, encouraged you or given you some feedback of your current level of math, yeah, there's just four little questions here, right? If you got them all right, that's by certain, certainly no means that you're totally ready for the, the T's math uh, exam. If you got them all wrong, but no means is that saying, you know, um, you're going to do terrible, okay? But even if you got them all right, even if you think you're like super prepared, you know, you got to formally prepare because there is a lot of math you know, that was covered in high school, a lot of math and algebra and geometry. And the, and the questions here were really kind of really basic. All right. So hopefully this video helped you out and at least gave you a good sense of where you might currently be. Again, if you're looking for a great uh, T's math prep course, I think mine is super comprehensive. Um, again, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. But I definitely wish you all the, uh, the best, not only on this exam, in your nursing uh, endeavors. I mean, we just need nurses so bad in this country. And, you know, um, anybody who works in the healthcare field is just, you know, um, you know, critically needed. You're doing um, things that a lot of us just can't. You know, you're taking care of people. And so I wish you nothing but the best. And hopefully this video helped you out in some way. With that being said, I definitely appreciate your time and have a great day.